that Peter and John were given. Given. To heal this person, this lame man. Because God has appointed it this way at the very temple doors, outside notice, not inside, outside. It is significant as to where the man lay. He lay outside the temple. That's where the miracles began. Christ did not do miracles inside the temple. But outside. To signify that that setup is no more. That miracles and the like are common now to all the world, all mankind. To the human race. Not to one building and people. Just as of old. Because we're going back to the old. Before the temple and the people were organised. In the desert. Right. Open to the world. That was an example Although the world there was the world of Jewry, wasn't it? The Hebrews. Okay. So, the temple was rejected. Christ rejected the temple. Paul, Peter, John, Luke, etc., etc., eventually all rejected the temple. They washed their hands of the lot. They tried and tried and tried. They weren't apostates, as so many now say and teach from their pulpits, that they went in, they shouldn't have gone in, they shouldn't have gone in, blah, 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 blah. Right, you know, who sent you to teach this error? Huh? It was given unto the Jews in the first place. They had the privilege in the first place. They had the oracles of God in the first place. And they were all transferred over to us. We who are the true children of God. And we shall never be cast off. As they were cast off. Because they were only the ensamples of us. They after the flesh. We after the spirit. All that was with them was carnal. Literal. Even down to the preaching of Christ coming into this world, the Messiah, and setting up an everlasting kingdom of which the political Jews there in Palestine, as they still stand, would rule the world with Christ. And today it's you Christians. <laughs> Uh, wait till Christ comes. Wait till the Messiah comes. Hey, eh? we'll show you who's the children of God. Yeah, well, you can continue to shout and to bawl, but we are the children of God because God did desired us to be the children of God. We didn't desire desire it of ourselves. We were alienated in our hearts and in our minds towards God. And there is none that seek of after God. No, not one. Not one. No one. Oh, Mr. Arminian. Oh, you've made your faith. Oh, made your commitment. Lovely. Did you know? Hmm? So there's no original sin then with you. There's no alienation with you. There's no estrangement with God for you. You've, you've, you've. Made your choice. Well done. Oh, no, you know. Oh, well done. Foolish virgin. When it comes to healing, 
Okay. This is another thing that the enemy does. Another doctrine that the enemy attacks us with. Not satisfied with attacking us with the Jews, the literal Jews, and saying they're better than us and that they're going to have this kingdom. And of course you've got the holiness movement and you've got the revivalist movement. We've got all these big in, we've got movement after movement after movement surrounding us. You must do this, you must do that, you must follow us, you must follow us, blah, 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 blah. Right. So, Christianity is simple. It is absolutely the simplest religion, the religion, upon earth. It's to be charitable. It's to be honest. It's to be full of integrity. It's to be what we should be. Righteous and holy before God. It's not about soul winning. It's not about believing this doctrine, that doctrine. Do you know, when we come to doctrines, we can have the Westminster Confession of Faith, the Shorter Catechism, the Longer Catechism, etc, etc, etc. That doesn't establish Christianity, they're just doctrines. What has established his Christianity is our walk. The walk of Christ. Hmm. The walk of Jesus Christ. Doctrine is established in Christ. If we have not got the doctrine of Christ, we haven't got Christ and we haven't got God. Doctrine is there. So don't you lot, who are pseudo-Protestants, say we're against doctrine. Knee-jerking like the world does. No, that has a specific place. And we honour it and we love it. We adore it. We're talking now, though, about the life. The life is an upright life. That's a Christian life, upright. Being simple and honest, truthful, moral and ethical. It's not about soul winning. It's not about following this doctrine, that doctrine, the other doctrine, this teaching and that teaching and the other teaching. It's nothing, nothing of that. The first principle of Christianity is being totally upright, honest and true. And charitable has been a decent person thoroughly honest before others everything that the world is not in general but to be considerate good-mannered polite straight talking and where people are weak we don't straight talk to them, but we talk in a manner that they do not then become offended. We give them examples like, do you know such and such down the road? He did this. And what you're saying is, you're doing this, but I'm giving you an example of somebody else. And that way you don't offend. There are many ways to speak to the to the weak people but those who are totally arrogant nasty vicious they need straight talking to now then healing we're getting off off again on the healing it's not given to all to heal people It wasn't given to Peter and John. Oh, you say uh, you're opposing scripture because it was given to them. No, it wasn't given to them. It wasn't. 
They were simply going into the temple. They were going to preach the message. But the age that the Jews were waiting for had come. And God gave them at that instant. Because we don't hear them as healers. Do we? After this, God gave them in that instant to notice that this person was going to be healed by them, or rather through them, because they had no power in themselves. And this man himself did not confess faith in God. And they didn't lay their hands on them. Hey John, come here. What, what's that, Peter? Put your hands on his head. Have you got faith, young man? Come on, you must have faith and we'll heal you. There was none of that business. Oh yes, in scripture there were instances where hands are laid on the head. But there's none of this business of even in that. Have you got faith? Have you got faith, 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 faith? This carnal positive mindset that is called faith by the Armenians, eh? There was none of that. The man was healed because God would have him healed as an example, again, that the age that the Jews were waiting for, that had been laid down in the scriptures, had arrived. Peter and John did not go out from here into the towns and cities and organise in the great amphitheatres faith healing and put up stickers, yeah, placards and have boards on people going around saying come to the meeting tonight at nine o'clock listening to Peter and John, the healers, and come and get your blessing, come and get your blessing, 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 and healing, 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 come on, you know. There was none of this godless, irreligious mockery of all things divine. None of this by these people, none of this by Christ. Christ could have gone and he could have had an amphitheatre and filled it with thousands and preached the gospel and come forth and put your commitments to me, sign the card. No. Come forward and I'll heal a lot of you. No. He did not come to do that. First and foremost, he came First and foremost, he came to save, to seek and to save that which was lost. And we were lost. The sheep of the household of God. Who have the mark of their owner in their foreheads. Revelation 22 verse 3. Oh aye, we are marked out. And the godless are marked out in their heads and in their hands. Mark of the beast. That beastly central pernicious setup of Romanism. Okay, because all the roads lead back to Rome. Yes, all roads lead back to Rome. Except ours. Ours lead to God. Because ours is the King's Highway of Holiness. No, none of them. Not the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, set up healing meetings, set up healing conventions, and gospel conventions and gospel meetings and gospel this and gospel that and gospel even sell manuscripts, you know, scrolls and the lot. Huh? None of this flash business went on. Christianity is playing. It's playing. It doesn't shout, look at me, look at me. It only speaks like an epistle to the world of morals and ethics. That's how we live, should 
live. And when these blackguards come up and say, have you saved soul? Oh, how many souls is saved? All right. You're clearly not in our world. Uh, God has saved every soul before the foundation of the world. Every soul that is to be saved, he has saved and placed them in the Lamb's Book of Life. And there is a seed of Satan and the seed of Christ. Watch their feet go. Sparks under them as they flee the scene of their crime. They don't want to know that God has saved every soul that should be saved. Oh, they swagger, hopping in swagger. <laughs> oh, I've saved so many souls. <coughs> oh, yeah, all right. Mm. Yeah, all right. And by the way, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, go on, love. Have a cup of tea. Hey, get some biscuits out. I'll get a packet of biscuits out, eh? Whilst you uh, continue to praise yourself. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. It's God, you see, that's doing it for you. You're continuing to praise yourself, are you? Yeah. You're better than me. I'll tell you what. You see the fellow on the, the cross? Ah, the fellow. Who was given divine repentance unto salvation and Christ said to him today thou shalt be with me in paradise I am no better than him in fact he's better than me because he's in heaven I'm not so he has the one over on me hmm? now when it comes to healings The Roman Church, okay, the Popery, that which was created by Imperial Rome to be their stated central religious body. It's not Catholic, it's the Roman Church of Imperial Rome. Let's Get that hammer and nail into the head. It is still the Church of Imperial Rome. The Roman Church. We that are Christians form the Catholic Apostolic Church. Not that satanic system. Of the Antichrist. Okay. Let's get that right. That system has boasted. Down the centuries. That it is healing. Not only salvation within it. If you're not in it. You can't be saved. But it is. The. Retainer. And the depositor. Also of healing. But with the laying on of hands, you go down here, fine, yeah, you're healed. Go to Lord's, you'll be healed. Get your wheelchair down there, you know, push it along there. Go into the water and, or pray to this saint and you'll be healed. You'll be healed, you'll be healed, you'll be healed. And then, of course, came the period in history. Okay, in which the Protestant, you could say, church took over healing, the evangelical side rather, of healing from Mother Rome. Okay, because theirs is the Mother Rome. Okay, when we're talking about Neo Even, when we're talking about Protestantism and evangelicalism we must add with this healing when the healing is put to them of Romanism Neo Neo-Protestantism that's New Protestantism and Neo-Evangelicalism New Evangelicalism 
okay, neo. That side of Protestantism and that side of Evangelicalism has embraced Romanism, is Romanism, the spirit of Romanism, and within it, of course, is commitments. We also have another name for them, Arminians. Okay. And another name, Blackguards. Okay. They blag their way through to present themselves as Christians and they're not. Okay. They took on the healing doctrine of mother of their mother room. Now in doing that they set up their various uh, denominations. Okay. We have the likes of Azusa Pentecostalism in Azusa America. Okay. Charles Fox Parnham. I'm not too certain if he was African. I think he, he may have been African. And there was, whoa, there was an awful lot of darkness and wickedness going on in that place. And he set up Azusa, in Azusa, a Pentecostal church. And those healings and blessings and all sorts going on in there. And I'm not even going to go into the describing of what was going on today. And there was Joseph Seymour, of course. Healer. <laughs> hmm? How about Smith Wigglesworth? Hey, eh? Smithy. Smithy Wigglesworth. Huh? 